Gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here at the Main Core. For today's video, we are going to discuss the importance of why for men. Finding your why, determining what your why is, and really digging into the reasons why why is important. So if you are new here, the Main Core is a community that is built specifically for men who are digging to their core to find out who it is that they really are, what it is that they really want, and who it is that they really want to become. We are building better men here for the future, so please do subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified for future videos. We cover three main topics here at the main core, that is masculinity, health, and relationships. So, as I mentioned at the top of the video, today is going to be around the purpose and the understanding of why. And what inspired me to do this video has uh, came up a couple of times, and I'm sure it does for most men out there. And uh, it is really understanding the, the importance and really digging into the purpose, the value, and the understanding of, of what why is. So when I say why, I don't mean the letter why. I mean the actual, the actual phrase and really the question uh, of what why is. So uh, whether you're new to the channel or if this is, uh, you, you know, if self-help or if um, self-improvement, if uh, psychology, if these are new topics to you, um, you, you know, you would hear a lot about, you know, finding your purpose, finding your mission and uh, why that's such a huge topic today. Uh, I'm actually kind of getting a little tired of um, the word purpose myself. It's it's something that I kind of wrestle around to try and figure out what my purpose is. But uh, to to make it a little bit simpler on myself and, and to make it a little bit simpler on, on you, the listener, um, understanding purpose is really understanding why. So what I mean by that is why is it that we have the job that we do? Why is it that we have the friends that we do? Uh, why do we want the things uh, in life that we want? Uh, rather than seeing things as uh, the acquisition of you know, wealth or things or cars or money or relationships or girlfriends or wives or whatever it is, we have to better understand why we want those things and what the deeper meaning is here. So uh, if you have a goal to you know, uh, make a million dollars over the next five years, that's great, um, you know, shoot for the stars. More importantly, and what I think some men, is, and I'm one of them, what we struggle with is, yes, we want a million dollars over the next five years, that's a good goal to have. But more important to that, and what's probably going to get me there, uh, is understanding why I want that. Um, you know, life can be tough for, for really anybody. You know, challenges, stress, uh, you know, work-life balance, time. You know, things, things as you get older, they, they tend to move a lot faster. Um, and when these things come up, if you've endeavored to make a million dollars uh, in whatever it may be. It could be a product or a service or a startup or a coaching practice or maybe you're a trainer or uh, maybe you have some kind of side hustle that you're doing. Um, the important thing to remember is that, you know, we're all going to encounter stresses and challenges and, and struggles. And if the why about getting to that million dollars is not something that is emotionally compelling. If it's not something that that excites you, if it's not something that uh, you know you're not really moved by or you're not really passionate by, once those struggles, time constraints, stress, um, conflicts, whatever it happens to be, whenever those things come up, because it's not emotionally compelling to you, you're not gonna, you're just not gonna stick with it. Uh, it'll be much easier for you to vacate or to quit and start something else. Um, if it's not something that, that you get genu genuinely like emotionally excited about or you get emotionally charged by, moved by, um, you'll just, you'll give up or, or you'll find a way out, you'll try to find a shortcut. 
because you don't, it's not, it's not compelling enough to you, you know, um, and you know, whether or not that's the case, your product, your service, it will, it will show that. I mean, you know, there's a real, you could make a real argument for, uh, you know, looking at the, the why about why Apple was made or the why about why Facebook was made or why, uh, Uber was made. Um, or, you know, why the remote control was made, why the car was made, anything, anything around you has, has a, it's, it's an object, of course, uh, or it's a thing, but the story of why, why and how it came to be. So for example, uh, Facebook, we all know Facebook. Well, that originally started as a way for kind of a nerdy, nerdier guy at a, Ivy League school uh, to create a social network where basically people could go in and vote hot or not. I mean, you could, you know, take, uh, uh, you know, a, um, a directory of, of girls or guys and, and vote whether or not, you know, you'd sleep with them or you'd like them. That's originally what it set out for. Um, then as it evolved and grew over time, it became this, now what we know it as now, but it, it grew into this thing of like connecting people and the importance of, uh, you know, bringing people together and connection and sharing stories and sharing lives and um, sharing life moments and, you know, reconnecting with people that you've maybe lost touch with, letting people know what you're up to, uh, inviting people to your events. It's, it's just an extended reach uh, and a way for you to extend your network. Uh, that's not what it started off as. It's why, Facebook's why is, is really the social connection and the extension of, of who we are into the world and, and us sharing ourselves socially. So that's the why. Hot or not would have, you know, came and went. It would have had its time and it would have, you know, eventually died uh, at some point. We wouldn't be using it and certainly wouldn't be using it to the extent that we're using Facebook today. So it is something that can change, um, but it's, it's that Zuckerberg knew the why about the purpose of it, right? He, he knew the value and understood that bringing people together was really, you know, kind of the next wave of, of social dynamics. Um, good, bad, or indifferent, whether you like it or you don't, Facebook is, it's not going anywhere. And it's got so much data and so much uh, information on, on, its, on its users, both historical and now, um, you know, it's now a valuable product or it's now a valuable place where marketers can go to find the exact audience that they're trying to market to. So that's, that's a, a, a really prime example of, of taking a what or taking a thing and how understanding the why of it is so important. Because again, without that understanding, the hot or not would have kind of died off. It, it just wouldn't have not, you know, been as successful as, as Facebook. Um, you know, the, if you look at Uber, uh, the, you know, they, they disrupted the, the taxi industry. And I think a lot of people were just frustrated with like inf inflated rates kind of crummy, very impersonal, uh, you know, taxis and, um, you know, not very well kept, just not a very great experience. So somebody decided to, you know, add a layer on of, you know, real customized, prompt, on time, clean, um, personalized service with real people in their own cars. And the importance of what that meant to people. Cause we all use taxis. We all need that transportation, some more than others, but you know, there was a real disconnect between what people really wanted and, and what they were willing to pay for, um, in terms of that transportation service away from public transportation. Um, and it totally dismantled the, you know, the taxi industry. So, um, uh, the importance of that was not just to add another, uh, vehicle to the streets or to, to make public transportation that much more con confusing. It was really about understanding people, you know, the purpose of it was, Hey, you know, why, why is something like this important? Why should something like this be available? Um, 
not only was that opportunity there, but it was also very important to people. And I don't need to tell you how big, you know, they've gotten over, you know, the past three, four, five years or ten years, however long they've been, they've been around. Um, you know, you could make the same argument for for I mentioned the remote control before, because if you have a TV in your house, you got a remote control. Um, people just got tired of continuously going up and like, you know, turning the dial over and over again. Uh, so the purpose of it was to make to, or to accommodate it. The why, why people wanted it um, was, you know, people got tired of like getting off their ass and going up and, and changing the channel uh, or having somebody, you know, change the dial over time. So it was a matter of convenience, but that's why it was done. Um, it wasn't just about adding, you know, another gadget to your house or, you know, this little uh, thing that you could lose in the cushions. I mean, you know, I don't know about you guys, but like if I lose my remote controls, I'm kind of, I'm pissed off. So, you know, it's somebody understood that, somebody understood the why of it. Um, you know, Apple, if you look at, if you like dig into the story about Jobs, uh, Steve Jobs and his creation of Apple, it was about bringing something to the masses that was unlike anything else that they had ever seen before. A gadget that was very interactive, top of the line, top price, top service, um, you know, best of the best in terms of how it operated. And that in addition to its ability to, you know, um, bring uh, you the, the experience that you wanted, but to, like I mentioned before, also to connect you with, you know, other users who had that same experience or who had those same gadgets. It was about bringing a product and a, like a, a brand experience because you don't look at Apple and think, okay, um, you know, their, their, their motto itself is think different, right? So right there, they're already thinking about not just giving you another product. It's not about, hey, here's, here's another phone. Um, uh, many companies have, have brought out phones and uh, came and went. But for them, it's always about thinking differently. And, you know, that's why innovatively they're, they're the best. I mean, you can't really hold a flame to, you know, a lot of the products overall as a company, what they do. Um, there's a lot of investment into, okay, yes, this is something that other people are doing, but our purpose and our mission has always been to think differently. Why, why is this something that is important? Why should we put the Apple brand on this? Uh, why should we build this into our smartphones, our tablets? Um, is it something that is emotionally compelling? Is it something that we know and understand that people want? Is it something that's going to make people's lives easier? Um, and will they pay a premium for it? You know, there's, there's so many other things. The automobile, uh, people just got, you know, there was a, why, why did the automobile become successful? Well, because people understood then that, you know, um, from a lot of the industrial revolution and the growth there and, and, and a lot of the manufacturing processes that they could actually build uh, a, uh, a transportation, a piece of transportation and actually, you know, get people to where they wanted to go quicker. Um, so that was why it was created. It wasn't just, okay, there's this thing that operates and you have to take care of, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a big giant pain in the ass, uh, a lot of money to, to upkeep. No, it was to really make people's lives easier. That's why it was created. Um, I don't do these videos just for the hell of it because I like the way that, you know, I look on the, on the, on the screen, although, you know, I've. I, I do take pride in, in the way I look. I think that's important. Uh, but more importantly, is I do these videos, my why in doing these videos is because I feel very strongly about the fact that men need help. And I don't have all the answers. Uh, I share all, all my stories, my successes, my failures. Uh, I'm a student and you know I'm a part of the community is just as much as you are. We are, this is a level playing field. But I, I'm compelled to do these videos, and I don't get paid for them. Um, I'm compelled and I'm emotionally moved to do these videos. I'm willing to do it for free because 
I know that men need help and I want to help men. I want to, you know, build a community. This place has always been about building a community. So it's not about putting another video uh, in your feed. It's not about, um, you know, the kind of likes or comments or anything else. It's, it's I feel very strongly and I'm compelled and moved and motivated and inspired to help men out there who I know need it. Um, that's, that's my why. It's something that, that, I, that I would do for free, that I am doing for free, and that I'm happy to do and willing to do outside of my uh, existing, you know, busy and active lifestyle. So that's why men need why. You know, we have to have a reason that, that gets us excited. We have to have a reason that is emotionally compelling to us. And if your nine to five now is not emotionally compelling, that's, that's, that's okay. Um, the important thing is, is that if you can find a way to, to at least work in that direction, if not, we're not all fortunate enough to like work at a job or a profession or get paid to do what we love for the few that do, um, I'm sure, you know, if you were to ask them or if you know people that do, um, you hear it all the time, people that work in their passion, it feels like playing to them. They would do it for free. Then because they're getting paid, it, it feels just like, God, it feels like I'm having fun like all day. It doesn't feel like I'm working. Um, that's, that's really the, I think that's really anybody's goal. I want to do what I love and I want to get paid good money to do it. Um, is there any, is there any real better recipe out there than that? Maybe there is, but, um, I, I certainly don't know it. I think that for the most people, for the most part, people, that's what they're after. They want to find the, the career, the passion, the relationships, um, and, and the people, the circumstances, the lifestyle, uh, all the things that they want. And they want to do those things that they love with the people that they love. And they want to, you know, live a good lifestyle doing it. Um, there's a way to, to, to make both happen, but you have to participate in it. Uh, you know, again, as I mentioned, I don't get paid to do these videos. Uh, I, I do them because I know that it reaches an audience at some level, or even if it just reaches one or however, it doesn't matter. Uh, the, the reality is, is that it's, it's a, it's a voice and it comes from a place of knowing that men out there need help and they need help with their physical health. They need help with their mental health. They need help with relationships. Uh, they need help finding out what it means to be a man, what it, what it means today to be a better man, what it means in the future to be a better man. I have a strong feeling that that's what I'm called to do. And while I don't see the results of it, it's why I'm willing to do these things for free, put in the effort to, to record and edit and upload and do all this stuff. Uh, it's not something that I just woke up and understood and it may not be what I'll forever do, but it's at least right now what I'm emotionally compelled, I'm motivated, I'm inspired to do, and I wanna help people, I wanna help men out there. That's, that's really been the goal is to create a community. So um, that's really my evolution and my understanding of why it's important to, to have a why, uh, not just to have a what or a that or a thing or um, you know, the acquisition of, of stuff, uh, externally, it's, it's really flipping things around and saying, okay, I understand all these things are available to, me, uh, available to me or that I could go in a particular direction externally, but internally, what is emotionally compelling? What is my why? Why am I here? What am I here to do? And is it something that I'm willing to do for free, that I don't get paid? Is it something that I love? Is it something that I'm deeply committed emotionally compelling to, to accomplish and move towards. Um, understanding why is, is really everything. You know, it, you'll give up if, if, if it gets too hard and we all run into challenges. I've ran into challenges with this, this video all the time. It, it, if it looks like it's easy to come up with like topics and shit, like it, it's not. Um, it can be very challenging to, uh, you know, to get myself in the right headspace and to kind of prepare and um, it, it just doesn't come naturally. It's tough. So uh, it could have over the last six or seven months and maybe I'm sure down the road at times get to a point where it's like, you know, fuck it. I just, I, I don't know. Like 
It's not going anywhere. It's not doing anything. But the fact that you don't give up comes from the fact that it, it's emotionally compelling to you. It, it means something to you. You're motivated by it. You want to do it. So that's my understanding of why. And again, it didn't, didn't, I didn't wake up one day and was like, oh, you know, it's written on the wall. It's, it's an evolution, and uh, it's really about asking yourself those deeper questions, thinking differently, um, understanding and, and appreciating and moving in the direction of, of the deeper meaning of things, why you want the things that you want, why you want the relationships that you want. Um, getting a layer deeper is, is really where it's at, and it could vary for every one of us. Why do I want to be a good dad? Why do I want to be a good coach? Why do I want a million dollars? Uh, why do I, you know, do additional videos? Why do I want to help men? Uh, why should we take better care of our bodies? Uh, why is this a, a, a an issue that uh, I feel strongly about? You know, it, it's going that level deeper, and it's it's not being afraid to go there and ask yourself serious questions because again, you're going to face, you know questions that maybe you don't have answers to. If, if you want the million dollars, but can't really tell yourself or other people why you want that, it's very different than somebody who wants a million dollars because they want to invest. They want to purchase real estate. They want to flip houses. They want to um, you know, help pay medical bills for their family. They want to put their brother or sister or parents or grandparents in a better nursing home, a better home. Um, they want to provide for their wife, for their kids, their family, for future generations. It can vary all over the place. But it, unless, unless it's like, if it's not emotionally compelling to you, you're just going to give up. It's, it's just too hard. So um, I know it can be difficult. I, I, I struggle with it as well, but um, allow yourself to, to go deeper and to, to ask yourself those tough questions. Um, be okay with uh, letting go of the things that maybe you at one time thought that you really wanted, um, but can't find a reason or a purpose or um, you know answers to, to, to some tough questions. It's, it's okay. Um, you know, our mind does work in mysterious ways and oftentimes we get distracted. We want and we are tempted and we are... Um, you know, we're fed a lot of things. Uh, we got a lot of stuff coming at us and it can be, it can be easy to, to want the million dollars or the, the new car, or the relationship, or, um, it can be easy. So, um, but allow yourself to go deeper and, and try to understand what your why is, what your purpose is. Um, I'm still figuring out what mine is. I don't have all the answers. Um, this may or may not be it. I, I don't, I don't know that for sure. Um, part of, Part of the beauty of life is that, you know, it's the evolution, it's the journey, it's not the destination. So I hope that that is, uh, you know, a message that, that you guys can pull from. Please uh, let me know what you think, your comments. I always appreciate hearing from every one of you. If you are uh, somebody who knows what your purpose is, please do share that with the community. We'd love to, we'd love to hear um, what your journey has been in, in discovering your purpose. That's of value to everybody here. Um, if there is a problem or a challenge or a topic that you'd like me to cover here in the, um, the future of the Man Corps, I'm happy to do a video. Please uh, let me know or share me a, a message directly um, through uh, the Man Corps project at gmail.com. I have to run, fellas, but again, I appreciate you being with me today, and I encourage you to continue to seek for that purpose, that meaning, and your why. Have a great rest of the day. I will see you on the next video. Cheers.